Hello, my darlings. Welcome. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, another adventure. Christmas home decor from all around the world collab with myself and my irresistible, unmistakable, remarkable, best of the best creators, Yelena, Zaina, Daniela, La Parsha, Evie, Favi, Amanda, Kathy, Ellie, Devin, Brenda, Elizabeth, Dana, Missy, Sun, Mary Beth, Maxine and Kim and on top of that you will have a chance to win gifts from all of us that means all of us are giving away Christmas gift and it's not gonna be only one gift as much as videos you see in this playlist that much gifts will be to enter for that giveaway we'll talk about that later on the picture recently that you seen is my giveaway so we're gonna talk about that later on let's just jump into my creations DIY number one I got this thrifted frame I'm painting it with a Casio Waverly chalk paint all over and I'm gonna take you to one of the Switzerland villages for Christmas the beautiful scenery and the beautiful creations so i took a page of one of my calendars purchased from hobby lobby and i'm gonna decoupage it i'm using a glue stick just to glue it on the carton that belonged to this frame and look how old was this picture so after i glue that i put it back on the picture frame just like so and now i'm using a wax and I'm distressing the frame all over so it can look like a vintage, like an old vintage village in Switzerland. And look at this beautiful picture with a truck, the scenery, the Christmas tree, the family, beautiful. And I cover it on the back with a, with a styrofoam and that's it. In the picture perfect little town for the Christmas holiday in a winter white it look beautiful DIY number two we're gonna use a centerpiece I have this candle holder centerpiece for a long time purchased a couple of years ago for three four dollars and we're gonna remodel it first I'm gonna distress it with a plaster Waverly chalk paint and as you know that I'm a plate ambassador and I love to use their paints so I'm just distressing it with a brush, going all over it to get that rustic vintage look. And I'm putting it back on the wood. And after all that is done, waiting to dry, I got those two mini Christmas tree from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna distress those as well to get that Christmas frosty trees, as you can see. So I'm just distressing it. Do the same thing on the second mini Christmas tree and after all that is done now I'm gonna put them in my centerpiece just like so I'm trying to put them all together and then get those branches put them in the middle between those holes just like that and now I got this frosted garland I got it from Joanne's on sale and I'm just gonna put that frosted leaves around those um, branches just like that going all over super simple like that doing it on the both sides
next I'm gluing those Christmas tree together with a crazy hot glue gorilla hot glue favy <laughs> and now I'm putting the frosted leaves around the branches again just like that and also between those stems I added a Chanel stem it's hard for you to see but I just put a Chanel stem just to have more sturdy surface and when all that is done as you can see I think I add another Chanel stem I think so yes and then I'm finishing up the leaves and the branches but just like that and when all that is done I'm adding more frosted greeneries just like that I purchased all those from Hobby Lobby just two or three branches also adding a crystal deers from Dollar Tree it's hard to see but you're gonna see at the final reveal and those candles on top are Dollar Tree candles they were so cute I didn't wanted to do nothing with them for now so let's just jump in I got a couple of DIYs for the next creations I got those wooden ornaments from Dollar Tree and we're gonna create a beautiful Christmas farmhouse ornaments with the stencils and on those ornaments you're gonna see a beautiful village from Switzerland <laughs> beautiful all-time car and a Christmas tree on top as you can see I'm just stencil it with the elephant chalk paint and a sponge super easy and those stencils are Martha Stewart stencils and a hunter green for the Christmas tree just like so and look how pretty I didn't want it to do anything with the wood so it can look like a farmhouse and that's it for that one now for the second one I paint this one with a moss or Waverly chalk paint and now I'm using another stencil to use a garland and I'm using all those combinations colors with the greens a bunch of greenies moss hunter green fern whatever you like it's all about the green this time <laughs> so the second ornament is done now for the third one I got that star also painted in one of those greenies and I used the stencils to make those snowflakes and now on the fourth one I'm using another Dollar Tree ornament painted with a plaster I believe before and now I'm gonna paint it the same the Christmas tree and the village it looks like one of those villages located in the mountains of switzerland looks so pretty so i'm going all over with the elephant just to cover the houses and that's it removing the stencil and look how pretty it looks very cute next i got the other part of these uh, ornaments the galvanized cap and i'm gonna glue it on top of those ornaments and then on this one i just put a twine around mesh twine and do the same thing with the galvanized cap i left the other side like it was from the dollar tree ornament and so when it's on the christmas tree you can have two looks on the back and up front it looks very cute like farmhouse looking ornaments for christmas next those wooden ornaments i'm poking a hole on the star and the one with the car just like so adding a twine i wanted to make those simple i didn't want it to make bows just a beautiful simple farmhouse ornaments and look how pretty it look now let's talk about the giveaway to enter for the giveaway each video have a secret word to be commented on the comment section 
and it must be able to edit the original comment to verify entry. Must reside in the US and giveaway will end November 1st at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and winner will be announced in our community tabs or Instagram. And remember, there is not one giveaway. As much as video it is, that much giveaways will be. And this is my giveaway. Hard to find calendars, beautiful Christmas ornaments, no miss, no miss signs, no miss stockings, Bath and Body Works cosmetics, and more. Good luck. My secret word is jolly. Now to my last DIY for today. Another beautiful Switzerland look with the nature, with a beautiful mountain house and a horses. Located at Gimmelwald and one of the beaten path destination in the Bernese Alps and so it's a sign of one of my calendars. I'm going to decoupage it on that sign that you saw. I use a mud Podge. I use my roller and now I'm cutting those pieces. Using one of those sponges for sanding just to make it like more vintagey looking traditional picture. And I decoupage it on top of it. I put some mud Podge. And now I'm putting those twines back to the holes that it was originally on that uh, wood sign previously. And I just want to say on the corner of this beautiful picture, it's Luke 1.14 and it says, And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. And here is the final look. For all my creations, I hope I took you to one of those wonderlands to Switzerland with my creations, at least virtually, and that's how I imagined it. And here is the beautiful Christmas traditional centerpiece, and I hope you like it. And if you can see those two crystal uh, deers in the middle they're clear and that's why they're so hard to see and with the frosty with the greeneries with the frosted berries and with the LED candles it looks beautiful and here is one of those pictures that I made with the traditional family getting together for Christmas getting their Christmas tree ready on their truck look how beautiful it looks so real i really love it i hope you like it too and here is my other antique art with a old mountain house and the horses and look 114 and those shall have joy and gladness and many shall rejoice at his birth perfect for this occasion i'm really loving this let me know what you think good luck to everybody you're gonna have so many chances and so many beautiful gifts and so much talent in one place and so much inspiration and creations and i hope you have fun while you're watching all our videos today and i wish you luck i'm sending you lots of love lots of music positive energy until next time, from me to you, bye-bye!